Now, the former Prime, Prime Minister of Pakistan, Nawaz Sharif, has expressed that neither India nor America or even Afghanistan were responsible for Pakistan's current challenges and meltdown. Instead, he has attributed the country's troubles to its own actions, indirectly pointing fingers at the powerful military establishment in Pakistan. He was speaking to the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz candidates and Nawaz Sharif, who seeks a record fourth term as Prime Minister of Pakistan, highlighted his three oustings from power in 1993, 1999 and 27, 2017 to the then army chiefs. Ambassador Suresh Goyal on the telecast with me. Ambassador, is this uh, the reality check that Pakistan military had to be received by Nawaz Sharif? Uh, I think these are basically uh, it's a mega, a big, a mega. Uh, uh, these are all basically pre-poll statements, pre-poll announcements, um, campaign uh, uh, slogans coming from the various people. The fact is that uh, when Imran Khan was removed, uh, clearly he was removed because Pakistani army was not happy with it. If Nawaz Shari, he has been acquitted in the various cases by the courts in, in Pakistan, if he has been allowed to come back by his own party, uh, he couldn't have done that without the complicit understanding of the Pakistani army. So let us face right. the kind of influence that Pakistani army uh, uh, exerts in Pakistan. The, uh, most of the politics, I'm not saying everything, but most of the politics is really driven by the army. And therefore, the statement that Pakistani Prime Minister is making, uh, I think uh, it's a good thing that he's admitting that what the Pakistani uh, economic problems are a result of the doings of the Pakistani army rather than anyone else. But right. once he gets elected, then let us see what, how he behaves and what kind of policies that he adopts on India. I think that will be the litmus test. At the moment, you must take it with a pinch of salt. Okay. Also, the fact that Nawaz Sharif has made such a statement and attacked the Pakistani army and the ISI, is he not already taking the risk of uh, coming across as a strong opponent of the Pakistani army? Not really. I think before election, some kind of a leeway has to be given to a, lead, to a political person so that he does not appear totally as tools of the army and elected by the army and with the help of the army. Uh, if you compare the statements being made by Nawaz Sharif now uh, with the statements made by the other leaders before elections, they were all more or less similar, you know, questioning the army, questioning as they said. But it's later, once they get elected, that the problems begin to come up and that they begin to be under the shadow of the army. So I will, right. I will not really judge uh, the Pakistani politics by what Shab Nawaz Sharif is saying now, but by what he does after the election. Okay. All right. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.